Hello everyone, my name is Jacob93 and in today's video I'm going to be looking at how to manage multiple YouTube or Google accounts as they are linked as part of Google's thing. Now the reason I'm... D okay, I'm first off going to show you the problem about having multiple YouTube accounts or Google accounts. As you can see here, I'm signed in as Jacob93 and my Gmail is also signed in. But if I wanted to go to my second channel or a different channel, I have to come up here log out once it lets me. Come on. Come on. There you go, sign up. This will sign me out of YouTube. This will also then sign me out of all Google related or linked uh, products, I guess. That's not the word. Services, I think. That means Google Mail, um, G Plus, uh, Documents, Picasso, Picasso, their photos, not, yeah. Anyway, as you can see here, press refresh and it's locked me out. Now, there are a few ways to get around this. I'm going to show you two, but I'm just going to tell you about the third one and why I don't like it. The third one is using a second browser. Now, most computers already come installed with, or most Windows PCs come installed with uh, Internet Explorer, but it's not particularly the best, or I, I don't particularly like it at all. So, but the big problem with using multiple browsers at once is it takes up a lot more processing power, and if you've got a small laptop, or a netbook, or some kind, that's really not advisable. So, uh, one solution is using incognito mode. I hope I'm saying that right. And incognito mode is a mode which uh, will let you have multiple signs at once. So if I just sign in now as this guy, I can then show you how to get in incognito mode. Okay, you need to click on the little spanner up here, the toolbar, or the custom menu, or whatever it is. Then you can click on New Incognito Window, or you can press Control Shift N as it says there. But if we open this up now and go straight to YouTube, now if you read that, it tells you some things about incognito browsing. Um, what it basically does is it doesn't store data on a few things like your cookies or your um, internet history. So I think it's famous for stuff like. Um, browsing porn, basically. But it also has this advantage. Now, I can sign in as my second account and it will keep me both signed in. And if I refresh on the other one, once it's logged in, bring this down here. As you can see here. I'm signed in there. Just refreshes this. You'll see that I haven't been signed out there. Uh, there are alternatives to this. I think Firefox and Internet Browser now does. It's an Explorer, sorry. Have something called Private Mode, which is the same thing. Okay, but that's the first solution to it. The second one is Profiles in Chrome. Now we get to this by clicking up here and then going to Options. Now in options we will find this and we want to go to personal stuff. Now you can see here underneath sign in we all have users and we can do this and it will create a user account. So we're just going to type in our email address. And then it starts with its business. Uh, okay, I'm signing Spirit, apparently. But you can add it the little symbol at the top, apparently, and a few different things. But um, as yeah, as you can see, I'm a ninja. But uh. This essentially does the same thing. 
Oops. But this time, this won't save information on. This will save information. It will save your password and username, so you don't have to click again, again, again on it, which you would do in incognito mode. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. But as you can see, all I have to do is click sign in. And we will get... Oh, there we go. It's automatically signed me in, because I use my... There we go. So we got two side-by-side -side accounts running on the same browser and taking up equal processing power. Oh, we're not losing any. <laughs> so there you go. That's how you manage multiple Google accounts at once. I've been Jake 3 Have a safe journey.